What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back for another Game of Thrones Season 8 update video. Before we get started, I actually want to clarify something about the last video I uploaded about Melisandre. I'm not exactly sure what happened to this video. When I uploaded it, everyone seemed to watch it and enjoy it for the first 8-10 to 10 hours I would say. But at some point that night, for whatever reason, the video just seemed to stop working correctly. The video about Melisandre was actually 14 minutes long, but for some reason, whenever some of you tried to watch it on a mobile device, it would only play the first 16 seconds of the video. And I'm still trying to figure out why this happened. That video still plays fine whenever you watch it on a web browser like Google Chrome, but for some reason it still only wants to play 16 seconds worth whenever you try to watch it on the YouTube app. So for any of you that still want to watch the Melisandre video, you can watch it on your computer if you use Google Chrome, or you can watch it on your phone using your web browser. I did email YouTube about the glitch, but they have yet to respond to me, so I apologize to those of you that had trouble watching it, but I am hoping it doesn't ever happen again. I just wanted to let some of you know that the Melisandre video is actually 14 minutes long because I know some of you commented and asked me why it was only 16 seconds long, so hopefully it was just a one-time glitch. But now let's discuss some of the more recent news regarding the production of Game of Thrones Season 8. The Game of Thrones production crew should be gearing up to film the 8th season of Game of Thrones within the next few weeks. They are scheduled to start filming in October, and once filming starts, we will start to get a bunch of news and photos from the sets, which should give us all a good idea of what's going to happen in the final season. But as we wait for some more info and photos to come out, I do have some other new photos from one of the Game of Thrones sets. And I have another photo I want to show you that was taken outside of their main headquarters in Belfast, Ireland. The first thing I want to discuss is courtesy of Watchers on the Wall, who provided this photo that was taken outside of Titanic Studios in Belfast, Ireland, which is basically the main headquarters for Game of Thrones. Pre-production has already started and they have already begun building some of the sets and stages as they prepare to film in October. If you look closely at this photo, you can see that there is a Dothraki hut sitting right outside of the studio. And according to the report, there was more than just one hut there at this studio. Apparently there was at least three huts. And two of them were the same size and one of them was a much larger hut, which could presumably be Daenerys Targaryens. We know that Jon and Daenerys were heading north when they set sail from Dragonstone and they were going to stop at White Harbor, then travel by land up to Winterfell where they will most likely set up camp as they prepare to fight the Night King and his army of the dead. The Night King and his army are already south of the Wall, making their way south, but we will probably see Jon and Daenerys get to Winterfell before the Night King gets there. Jon and Daenerys will need to get to Winterfell as soon as possible, and Jon's gonna need to call all of his banners he has in order to prepare themselves for this great war. And even though Jon and Daenerys are in love, I don't think Jon is gonna have Daenerys sleeping in his bed in Winterfell just yet, so Daenerys will most likely set up camp with her council and all of her troops right outside of the Winterfell walls. I think Jon is definitely in love with Daenerys, but he's going to need to make sure all of his supporters in the North are cool with having Daenerys around before he just comes out and says, Hey, we just had epic boat sex, now you have to deal with it. I have a feeling Jon and Daenerys are going to hide their relationship for at least a first episode or two before they're open about it with everybody else. When Jon and Daenerys arrive, there's probably going to be some pissed off Northerners speaking out because Jon brought a Targaryen into their country, but I think things will get smoothed over pretty quickly when they realize they're going to need Daenerys and her dragon's help in order to survive. They will need to realize they cannot defeat the Night King without her dragons and her men. There is a chance we could see some of Jon's supporters actually walk out on him when he announces he basically bent the knee to Daenerys, but I think overall most of them will end up accepting her simply because she has already sacrificed one of her dragons to save their king in the north. And she is there in person with all of her troops ready to defend the north and the realm with Jon, so I think Danny's actions are going to speak for themselves, and we might even get a marriage alliance between Jon and Daenerys at some point too. But this all depends on how fast the Night King actually gets south, and this all depends on what Jon and Daenerys decide to do first. They could sit around and prepare Winterfell's defenses themselves, or they could bring the attack to the Night King and go after him before he actually gets to Winterfell. But the timelines are too confusing for me to give an accurate guess about what they're going to do first, but now that the photos are slowly starting to come out, we will learn more and more as the days pass. And the more photos that come out, the easier it will be for all of us to put this final puzzle together and figure out how all of this will play out in the end. It should be a lot of fun. 
I also have an update on the set at River Run too. About a week ago I made a video regarding one of the sets that may possibly be used again during Season 8. Irish Thrones posted on Twitter that River Run set was still operational and very busy which led me to speculate that we might actually see Edmure Tully once again. Or at least whatever army is left in that area. In the Season 7 finale, Jamie Lannister left Cersei and he is now heading north and I can only assume he will be going to Winterfell. But I had a feeling Jamie may try and make a pit stop somewhere along his way. He might stop somewhere and try and get some support and take however many soldiers he can north with him. We still have no idea what is going on with Edmure Tully. The last time anyone said his name was in the Season 6 finale when Walter Frey told Jaime he put Edmure back in the cells after Edmure helped him gain access into the castle at River Run. Welcome home, my lord. Command all the forces within the castle to lay down their arms. Open the gates. My lord. Your lord has given a command. This came together rather well. Your father would be pleased. I'm sure he would be. Oh. Edmure's back in the cell. Can't go killing my son by law. Wouldn't be right. Give the family a bad name. For all we know, Edmure is still locked up in the cells. I was hoping Arya would set him free when she wiped out House Frey, but they never did show us that. But since Jamie last spoke to him, I was thinking Jamie may try and get him to go north with him, considering Edmure is technically related to Arya and Sansa. The Starks will also be sending out ravens warning everyone that the Night King is through the wall and making his way south. They need to send out ravens in hopes of getting the support of anyone else willing to come and help, but River Run became a dead plot. We really have no idea who is there or in charge. The Freys and Lannisters took it back from the Blackfish, but Arya killed all of the important Freys, so I can't say who is in control of River Run right now. I don't even know if we're ever going to see Edmure again. It's too hard to say with only a handful of episodes left. But if someone is there, Jamie may possibly be able to get them to come with him. But I do have an update on this set, and as of right now, it looks pretty dead. Irish Throne said it was operational and very busy, but someone who watches my videos reached out to me and told me they would send me some actual photos of the River Run set. I have to give a big shout out to my friend Zip, who sent me these photos via Twitter. He actually lives in the UK and he was willing to drive to the set himself and give me a real-time update. As you can see in the new photos I have, this set does look pretty dead. He said there was little to no activity on this location when he was there. He actually stopped by two different times in the last week and sent me the photos both times and it seems to be on standby for right now. He did say there were a few security guards there on location watching over the property and the security guards were there both times he stopped by to take the photos, which could be good news. Filming doesn't start until October, so we might not see much activity here just yet if they do plan on using this set again. They have to be paying those guards to watch over the place and they haven't tore it down yet, so they might be planning on using it still. He told me he was going to go back in October when filming starts and take some more pictures from me and let me know if there was any recent activity there, so as soon as I know more details, I will let you know too. I have to thank Zip for taking the time out of his day to go over there and take these photos. At least for now, we can confirm the River Run location seems to be dead with no actual preparations taking place. I actually wouldn't be surprised if we never see Edmure Tully again. Things seem to be wrapping up so quickly they may not make time for him in the remaining story, but hopefully within the next few weeks this set becomes active. Because I would like to see Jaime run into Edmure again and show up in Winterfell with at least a small army, because we all know they're going to need every swinging dick in the field fighting against the Night King and his army of the dead. But I guess I will end this video right here. I think I've blabbled on enough in this one, but I just wanted to keep you all up to date and in the loop with everything going on thus far. I will continue to keep you up to date with any and everything Game of Thrones related, so make sure you hit that subscribe button, that way you can see all the new videos each time they are released. I want to thank you all for watching today's video. I appreciate your continued support as we head into this long night during the offseason. I also want to thank all of you that support the channel on Patreon. That really does mean a lot to me. So I hope you all have a great day. I will see you down in the comment section. Bye.